Hi all, this is John Kay again. I want to give you a quick update on uh, the progress of my solid state uh, Bedini SG. So this time what I'm doing is um, it's still like a three battery power supply. So I've got these two batteries here in series and they're currently sitting at 25.49 volts so they're, um, they're pretty well charged. Um, so these are in series, the negatives are tied together with this wire here and then the solid state SG runs in between the two positives, so the positive from there and these two batteries here are in parallel and so we've got the negatives together, joined together with the black wire and the positives joined together with the red wire and then the, the ground of the solid state SG goes to the positive of this, so this is 12 volts that's 24 volts. So this is the first, uh, it's really just a bit of a smoke test to make sure everything's hooked up okay. Once again the comparator is not hooked up, that's bypassed, but I've got the output um, of the coil connected to um, these parallel batteries, the negative and the positive. So it's, it's pretty much this circuit again uh, that I think I showed last time. So we've got our series batteries here they run through the solid state SG, uh, negatives tied together, and then the pickup winding here is going to these two parallel batteries. And once again, the comparator is not connected. So uh, I'm going to show you a quick waveform there. We're going to monitor the battery voltage of these two in parallel with a laptop here. I'm just going to kick this off. Uh, I do this every time. Forget to test. So we're going to monitor that. Uh, currently these batteries are sitting at, I hope this gets picked up, they're 1277, 1278 so they are pretty well charged. Uh, I'm just going to adjust the scale on this just so it's a little bit easier to read. Let's go 12.7 to 13. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so it's got minutes across the bottom. Uh, voltage across the top. Okay, so this is all hooked up, ready to go. I've also got a, a DC amp uh, clamp meter on there, which is going to show the current that this um, this setup pulls. So let's switch it on, a little on-off switch there, and we'll see two things. Immediately that starts dropping. Here's the waveform. Let's see, currently that's, that's actually 923 focus on that 958 Hertz so immediately this this guy starts dropping down 24.8 pulling just under 3 amps out of that now we'll have a look at those two batteries that are um, in parallel as so we can focus on that so right right away it's up to just under 15 volts um, I did say those batteries are pretty much charged they've just been sitting for a couple of weeks doing nothing a um, little bit of self discharge but um, charging really well up to 15 volts already uh, so pretty happy with that so as I said it's really just a smoke test I just hooked this up I did run like a 30 second test before um, this video uh, just to make sure nothing uh, was going to blow up but um, once again heat sinks all stay cool nothing runs hot on this um, you will notice as um, as the setup runs that the current actually drops down um, obviously that's going to drop down a bit that'll that'll actually settle there i think at about at about that voltage um, and then as the parallel batteries charge um, just like a rotated sg the frequency or the solid state frequency of the SG also increases. So as, as these two batteries in parallel charge up, the frequency will, will increase automatically. It's self-regulating. Um, I don't touch it. Basically just uh, switch it on and let it run. So once again, that's, that's the circuit. Um, more than happy for, for anyone to replicate. Just a couple of notes, I guess. Um, that diode there is those diodes there, I've got uh, four in parallel, they're SB550s, um, they're not on the on the positive line there, and I scratched it out and moved it down there based on advice on one of the forums. 
Um, and though that diode there is those diodes there, which are UF5408. So I've got three in parallel there, but a um, little bit of overkill, they don't get hot at all. So one, one more quick wrap around. So you can see this guy is um, it's pretty much settled there at 2445. Um, let's again look at the scope shot. 1.13, uh, 31% duty cycles. So that's that's actually reversed. If you look at the waveform, this is this is the on time, which is about 69%, I guess. This is and this gap here is the off time. So you can see that's the spike there. So transistors on, transistors off. We get a spike and then it drops back down. Then transistors switch back on again. So it's how to read that waveform. And then one. Uh, Last look at our waveform here. So these guys up to 15.49 already. So very quickly before I wrap it up, what I want to do with this is, and the reason I've got four batteries here is, I'm going to add um, a Tesla switch to this, which is basically going to flip the batteries. So right now these are series, these are parallel. The Tesla switch is going to flip those to series and those to parallel and run it that way and I'm going to run a few experiments that way just to see um, how it performs basically. Um, don't really know yet until I try it. But anyway, thanks for watching and um, very quickly, obviously uh, with, with the news of uh, John Bedini passing away over the weekend, it's very sad, so it's a very, very sad time for, for all of us. But um, yeah, uh, without getting too soppy, I'm, I'm doing this stuff for John. Um, I really want to carry on with his research. Um, he's shared a lot with us, and um, yeah, I think it's it's only fair to, to uh, I guess, try and pay him back somehow by continuing on with that research. So thanks again, Johnny. Rest in peace, mate. All right. Cheers. Bye.